Virtue as we understand it today isn't at all appropriate. The nearest kind of... Uh, when we speak of the healing virtues of a plant, that's nearer to the meaning of this word, dirt. Uh, the Japanese pronounce it toku, the Cantonese duck, and the northern mandarins approximately dirt. And uh, in the section of the Lao Tzu, where this is really introduced, the text says something like this. Superior virtue, not virtue, thus it has virtue. Inferior virtue, can't let go of virtue, thus not virtue. We more or less paraphrase that by translating. Superior virtue is not conscious of itself as virtue, and therefore it is virtue. But inferior virtue is so hooked up with being virtuous, or hooked on being virtuous, that it's not virtue. Now then, therefore, this word is a connection of virtue and magic. It means the, super, the, the excellence of things in the sense that a tree excels at being a tree. And nobody really knows how it does it. There is no way of imitating a tree, except the only thing is to be one. And so in the same way, when a human being shows extraordinary skill at something, it seems that it comes natural to him. It seems that he doesn't achieve it by any kind of artificiality. If there is some discipline in it, it's concealed. So, excelling in something naturally, and yet it's something that is so difficult to understand that it seems that it has been done by magic, is the meaning of this word. So, what de is, is the state of affairs, a way of talking about a particularly a human being, who has learned to live in harmony with the Tao.
in the book called the Jung Yung, or the Unwobbling Pivot, it is said, the Tao is that from which nothing can depart. That from which things can depart is not the Tao. Fundamentally, you see, you can't get away from it. It's like uh, a situation in which we are all floating in a tremendous river. And the river carries you along, anyhow. Now some of the people in the river are swimming against it, but they are still being carried along. Others have learned that the art of, it, of the thing is to swim with it. So, but a person who is not making that pretense anymore, who knows that you have to go with the river and swim with it, suddenly he acquires behind everything that he does the power of the river. The person swimming against the river, you see, does not by his action express the force of the river. The person swimming with it, he goes along and he has that whole river behind him, but he's subtly directing it because you can change direction in the course of the river. You can go to the left or to the right, as a ship can use a rudder and still go along with the current, or more skillful still, as a sailboat can tack. Because when a sailboat tacks and goes in a direction contrary to the wind, it still is using the wind to blow it along. Now that is the most highly skillful art of all. That is Taoism in perfection. I remember once I uh, was looking in the open air and one of those glorious little thistle down things came and I picked it up like that and brought it down and it looked as if it was struggling to get away, just as if you caught an insect by one leg. But then I, at first I thought, well it's not doing that, that's just the wind blowing. Then I thought again, really? Only the wind blowing? Surely it is the structure of this thing which in cooperation with the existence of wind enables it to move like an animal. It is more intelligent being than an insect because an insect uses effort, like a person who rows a boat uses effort, but the man who puts up a sail is using magic. He lets nature do it for him with the intelligence to use a sail. See? So in just this way, there's the meaning of, of uh, De, is that kind of intelligence which, without your using very much effort, gets everything to cooperate with you. 
If you have patience, you see, you can always do this.